Turkish woman in aviation history. Sabiha Gökçen was the first Turkish female aviator and the first female combat pilot in the world. She was one of the eight adoptive children of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. In 1925, during Atatürk's visit to Bursa, Sabiha, who was only 12 years old, asked permission to talk with Atatürk and expressed her wish to study in boarding school. After learning her story and miserable living conditions, Atatürk decided to adapt her. Just after the introduction of the surname act, Atatürk gave her the family name Gökçen. Gök means sky in Turkish and Gökçen means belonging or relating to the sky. However, she was not an aviator at a date and it was only six months later that Sabiha developed a passion for flying. Atatürk attached great importance to aviation and for that purpose, oversaw the foundation of the Turkish Aeronautical Association in 1925. He took Sabiha along with him to opening ceremony of Türkkuşu Flight School. During the air show of gliders and parachutists invited from foreign countries, she got very excited. She was much more interested in flying an airplane, so she learned flying and received her pilot license. Gökçen was sent to Russia together with seven male students for an advanced training in planar gliding and fixed-wing aircraft piloting. In the beginning of 1936, Atatürk urged her to attend the Air Force Academy to become the first female military pilot of Turkey. She improved her skills by flying bomber and fighter planes at the 1st Aircraft Regiment in Eskişehir Air Base and got experience after participating in the Aegean and Trace exercises in 1937. In that same year, she took part in the military operation against the Dersim Riot and became the world's first female Air Force combat pilot. In 1938, she carried out a five-day flight around the Balkan countries to great acclaim. Later, she was appointed chief trainer of the Türkkuşu Flight School of Turkish Aeronautical Association, where she served until 1955 and became a member of association's executive board. Sabiha Gökçen flew around the world for a period of 28 years until 1964. Throughout her career in Turkish Air Force, Gökçen flew 22 different types of aircraft for more than 8,000 hours, 32 hours of which were active combat and bombardment missions. She was selected as the only female pilot for the poster of 20 Greatest Aviators in History, prepared by the USAF in 1996. After giving some information about Sabiha Gökçen, we want to introduce to you Turkey's other first woman aviators. The first woman pilot in Turkey was Bedriye Tahir. She graduated from Vecihi Civil Aviation School in 1934. The first woman parachutist was Yıldız. In September 1935, she'd done her first bound from one of the Russians R5. The first Turkish woman acrobatic pilot was Edibe Kutucuoğlu. Our first flight attendant is Adile Turu. The first Turkish woman F-16 pilot is Berna Şen. She is the first woman F-16 pilot in Turkish Air Forces. First woman military pilots are Senay Günay and Leman Altıçekic in NATO's Air Forces. Alev Kılıçkeser Hotin is the first woman civil flight pilot. She is still at flight. Turkey's first woman technician is Aytan Turgut, who started working as a technician in 1970. She worked in aircraft electronic revision workshop and aircraft maintenance electronic department in Turkish Airlines for 26 years. Turkey's first woman air traffic controller is Nazmiye Göyük. Turkey's first woman flight dispatcher is Ayşe Tuveç Özden. These wonderful ladies are Turkish pioneers. We take inspiration from them, and like our founder of Turkish Republic Mustafa Kemal Atatürk said, the future is in the skies.